your day nine meditation loving the inner child sit back or lay down relax and start to breathe deeply and slowly Let's go. Relax your mind. Relax your body. And let go. Go back in time. See yourself as a little child of five. Hold out your arms to this child and say, I am your future and I have come to love you. Embrace this child lovingly and then bring it with you to the present time. See the two of you standing at a mirror looking at each other lovingly and as you stand there become aware that there are so many parts of you that are missing now go back in time even further to the very moment you were born you have just come down the best canal it may have been a difficult trip. You feel the cold air and see the bright lights and someone may have just smacked you. You have arrived and you are here to live a whole lifetime. Love that little tiny baby. Love that baby. Continue to breathe deeply and slowly. Now move forward in time to the moment when you began to walk. You will stand up and fall down. Stand up and fall down and stand up and fall down and then suddenly you were standing and you took a step and another step and you were walking you were so proud of yourself love that little child Love that little child. It makes inhalation invite more relaxation to your body. And with the next exhalation, let your mind relax. Now move forward in time your first day at school. You didn't want to leave your mother, but you did. You took your first steps over the threshold of your school. You were scared, but you did it. You were doing the very best you could. Love that child. Love that child. Then remember your life around the age of 10 and everything that was going on then. It may have been wonderful. It may have been difficult. You were doing the very best you could do to survive. And you made it. Love that child. Just love that child. Inhale. 
inhaling deeply and exhale fully. Now go forward to the time you were entering puberty and remember all that was going on. It was exciting and scary and maybe more than you could handle but you got through it you did the best you could and you made it so love that teenager love that teenager take a deep breath in and out and go to the time of your first job and how exciting it was to earn money. You wanted so badly to make a good impression and there was so much to learn. But you did the best you could and you succeeded. Love that person. Just love that person. As you breathe deeply and slowly, remember the first time you were rejected in love and how much your heart hurt. You were sure no one would ever love you again. You were in such pain. You did the best you could. You made it. Love that person. Love that person. Then go to another milestone in your life. It might have been embarrassing or painful or wonderful. Whatever it was, you were doing the best you could at that time. With the understanding, knowledge, and awareness that you had then. So love that person. Love that person. Now gather all the many parts of yourself and bring them forward to the present. See yourself standing in front of the mirror with all of yourselves and realize that you are looking at the richness and fullness of your life. Of course, there were difficult times and painful times and embarrassing times and times of confusion and that's all alright. That's all part of life. Love all of yourself. Now turn around and as you look ahead, see a person standing before you with arms outstretched, saying, I am your future and I have come to love you. Life is an endless opportunity to love yourself, to love your past, present, and future. Loving and accepting every part of yourself is healing. How can you possibly be whole or healed if you are rejecting any part of yourself. Healing is to make yourself whole again. Love yourself, every part of yourself, and be whole. All is well, and so it is. Take a deep breath in and out. And when
whenever you are ready, slowly open your eyes.